All right, today we're going for the triple layered froth Baileys and coffee. I'm using espresso. You've seen the commercial. This is a take on it. Uh, this is a drink that's served hot, so it could be served after dinner for a fancier uh, coffee. It could be enjoyed on a cold winter night with a loved one or a special somebody. Um, I took a couple of steps uh, ahead of time. I heated up some half and half. We'll get to that uh, just to save some time. I already made the espresso. It's real. It's uh, probably quicker than it's going to take me to explain it, but um, let's get into it. And uh, for the frothing, we're going to use the trusted air latte. Um, so to froth up our Bailey's, Bailey's has a little bit of alcohol in it, and so just to help it a little bit and also to help the coloration, just to make our drink look a little bit fancier, I'm putting about a tablespoon or maybe two tablespoons of half and half in here. And um, we're going to do about a shot of Bailey's. You can season to taste, as they say. And it goes right in like that. And we're just going to froth that up real quick. Get that. You can see how that's frothing up nicely already. Obviously, Bailey's has some cream in it. By adding a little bit of half and half, that helps. Um, that half and half, about a, you know, one to two tablespoons, you can throw that in the microwave for about, call it 10 seconds, just to get it heated up. That will help it froth a little bit better. Uh, after this, we're going to be frothing our triple layer. That's the half and half part. And then we're just going to throw it all together. It's going to look great. It's going to taste delicious. Do this and come back to that. This is a couple of ounces of half and half. I've heated it up. Glass is a little bit foggy. I apologize about that. Um, hopefully, you can see the juice cup. It's about here, and um, I'll show you what it looks like after it's froth. Jump to this one, and this oops, for about two table uh, for about two ounces. I heat it up for about thirty seconds, and uh, with these fresh batteries in the air latte, this little juice cup is proving to be a little bit too shallow. So let's see what we can do without creating a mess. If you want to learn some of these frothing techniques, I have other videos that go into detail. You can observe some of what I'm doing here. But yeah, that's pretty cool. We're now up to there. And we'll use that in a second. All right, time for the espresso. This is a double shot of espresso. I'm using this uh, Del Mar, but you can use whatever you want. If you try to use regular coffee, this should work, but the beauty of the espresso is that it's a much darker color. And so when we want to present that triple layer, the espresso helps. I'm going to give one last froth in here. This is going to go in on top. And hopefully it settles a bit. When it does settle, uh, you're going to start to see the black in here. And then we will add our froth on top. I'm spooning it in. If I pour it in, could get some excess liquid and that would kind of throw it all off a bit. Now that's going to settle. This actually might take a minute or two. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. But ultimately, you will get a, a layer to sell down here. 
you can see on top, it's a beautiful white cream on top. Now, as far as sugar, you could theoretically add sugar to the uh, espresso first. You could add it to the hot um, half and half at any point. For some of you, you know, the Baileys may be sweet enough. And um, we're starting to get that little the triple layer there. But, um, you know, if you want to put a little cinnamon on the top, you can do that. Uh, if you'd like to stick one of those uh, cinnamon swirls, chocolate sticks, you can do that. Um, just a delicious drink, goes down easy. Now, when you enjoy this, uh, you or your guests, you could either stir this up yourself before drinking it, or you can let that shot, you know, as you drink it, the shot will come through uh, both layers of the Baileys and um, of this white cream. And it's just absolutely delicious. Just, I think you'll enjoy it. I think your guests and family will enjoy it. So give it a try. If you have any questions, uh, write them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you found this at all helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. Thanks for joining me.